Welcome to USA Golf and Travel, and today I have two very special guests. I'm here with Pete and Perry Dye, two famous golf course designers, and we're at their latest creation here. And uh, Pete, if I could get you to maybe say a few words about it here. Golf course, because <laughs> he did the whole thing. And he's been out here, living out here, and done a great job. I really, I went around it today, and uh, I gave him great remarks, and uh, and his mother went around the other day with him, and she didn't kill us, so uh, <laughs> Alice doesn't say something bad about it. I think we've done a pretty good job. Perry, all the devil about this. Perry, I, I've heard you've been out here almost every day working on this, and so this must feel like uh, quite an accomplishment for you, right? Well, as you know, um, Dad's built a lot of golf courses in the desert, and the opportunity to come back and do one more, uh, especially a private equity style club and it's like this one here with 54 holes eventually and uh, have it to be for the members and a lot of these people have been members and lived down in the desert a long time it's been a lot of fun working with landmark and everybody but we built a real classic membership style golf course here it's fun to play you know i've got to tell you folks if you get a chance you've got to come out to this course and see some some of the most beautiful bunkering i've ever seen and the the landscaping around the holes is just just really great if you could maybe tell us a little bit how you did that well the one thing great about working down here in the La Quinta area especially out towards the PGA West style there's nothing here you, you have nothing but sand so everything here you can create and uh, we had a fairly substantial budget and we put in a lot of the bougainvillea and a lot of the plants around the golf course it'll give it the pretty colors but as you know there's nothing more beautiful than green grass during the winter and uh, we have about 130 or 40 acres of green grass out here to play golf on and just like you say the bunkers that catch catch the shadows and that sort of thing we kind of um, tried to make it really special and also trying to make it you know where when you're looking at the golf course not only as when you're playing it but it looks beautiful when you buy a house out here you have something to look at in the afternoon when the shadows play and maybe watch a couple balls roll in the lake or two <laughs> <laughs> it must be fun perry to uh work with a legend and him being your father but have you always wanted to be a golf course designer i wasn't given many choices in life and this uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, when cornell university told me that i should probably go to the university of denver and study land planning that um, i really always wanted to be in the golf business but i really enjoy the real estate side of the of the of the golf business and the I've always felt that a good subdivision or a good place to live and a good golf course is a great combination. I personally live on a golf course and, and uh, we're building a house down here in the desert on this golf course. And I really enjoy the lifestyle. But when you really talk about growing up being a die, um, golf was the family uh, family tradition. My mom, is, as you know, is a great player. My brother's in the business. We have a few cousins in the business. and. Um, golf has been very, very good to me. I promise you. It, it, there's no doubt. Uh, even though being, you know, kind of the second and third generation, but golf has been very, very good to the dies. Is, is total. It's been a great business. Pete, now you think he's going to make it, huh, Pete? Oh, he's going to make it. <laughs> Perry's done a good job out here. Perry's done a good job all over the world. He's built a lot of golf courses in Asia, and then and to come back here, and he's done a great job here. And, and this is, he's been, I think he's had more fun on this particular project because <laughs> he lived here and he put it, the whole thing together and did a lot of the land planning because you had to coordinate the real estate with a golf course. And, and I think they've done a great job here on that. Well, uh, the number of golf courses I've personally done has probably been under 100. And a lot of my uh, good competitors have built 20 a year. So I'm way behind. I got to start <laughs> catching up. I, I haven't got much time left to do it, but I got to start catching up. I was born and raised in a little town called Urbana, Ohio. Columbus is east of Urbana, Dayton south of Urbana, Toledo is north of Urbana. Everything's from Urbana. <laughs> Did he take enough club? Short again. Oh, nice shot. There it is. Oh, beautiful. Watch the 
Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. So you better have your flash. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, one, two, three. Go! Okay, ready, set, here we go. One, two, three. That's right, we got flash.